We are in Rome at the third annual conference of Soy Italy, the Italian section of the Society of Hematological Oncology, and we have the honor and the pleasure to talk with uh, Professor Tariq Mughal, a key opinion leader and a worldwide known expert in hematological oncology. We talk with him about his life, his work and his dreams. Professor Mughal, first of all, which is your story? Okay. Um, well, first let me tell you a little bit about myself and then I will tell you my story, particularly with my professional story. Eh? So I trained uh, in medicine in London eh? um, and then be became a hematologist and medical oncologist at the Hammersmith Hospital. Uh, and now I work on both sides of the Atlantic. I work in Boston at Tufts University and also work in London. My main uh, professional interest has been in the myeloid malignancies, uh, particularly the chronic myeloid malignancy, which include chronic myeloid leukemia and also the related myeloproliferative neoplasms, uh, which can be uh, quite difficult to treat. We are at the, at the third annual SO Italy conference. In your opinion, which role can be played by SO Italy on the international scene? I think the uh, um, the the notion of creating the Soho uh, Italy um, three years ago, this is the third uh, annual meeting, was a fantastic one and it, it epitomizes the vision of people like Giovanni Martinelli um, in, <clears throat> in bringing the concept of Soho, which was introduced in Houston many years ago, uh, uh, largely by people from the MD Anderson Hospital, in particular Hegop Contagion, but also people from Europe like Tony Goldstone from the UK, one of my mentors, and Dieter Heusler from Frankfurt in Germany. So this particular platform, hosting it in Italy, facilitates not only the integration of the Italian uh, uh, hematologists, particularly those interested in the malignant hematology, but also the proximity to other European countries enables people to come here. And then, of course, uh, we can tap into the faculty at MD Anderson and other selected centers. Which are the main projects you, you are working on at the moment, both on the clinical and the research side and the, on the organizational one? Yeah. So the, um, I can also divide my, uh, my professional uh, a project in, in three categories. Okay? Um, the first is the clinical uh, and academic uh, category. And here I provide care for patients with the uh, myeloid malignancies. Um, lately I've also got involved in the aggressive myeloid malignancies. And then uh, I'm involved in the teaching of uh, undergraduate, medical students, postgraduate, uh, worldwide. Okay? So that's the first project. The second project is I'm um, involved in uh, the development of uh, the genetic test, uh, um, a particularly liquid biopsies. Um, liquid biopsy, as you probably know, is, is a lot easier to offer to patients because you don't have to do a tissue biopsy. And it also f uh, it, it facilitates the uh, optimal monitoring of patients who are getting therapy for response and relapse. So you can then uh, exercise therapy sooner rather than later. And the third uh, a, a project I do, which is probably the closest to my heart, uh, is my uh, work for a, a foundation, Alpine Oncology Foundation, which is a foundation I founded in the memory of my late mother. Uh, and the primary objective of this foundation is to go to the economically disadvantaged countries, beginning, of course, with Tanzania, where I was born and where my mother spent uh, a large chunk of her uh, adult life and all the children were born there. So in these countries, such as Tanzania, we focus on the educational component. So we go frequently in person, and of course we do a lot of remote pro uh, programs as well. We educate the uh, hematologists and others who are interested in treating uh, myeloid malignancies so that their level of education gets to a, such a, uh, a level where they can qualify to, uh, to prescribe compassionate treatment, uh, which wouldn't be available for uh, patients in those countries uh, with ease. And we also provide them with diagnostic uh, help. So these are the goals. Finally, which are your dreams for the upcoming future? I think my, the, my, my principal dream is to enable the personalized treatment algorithm 
for a lot of these uh, uh, diseases which comprise the, the basket of myeloproliferative neoplasm. Um, and not only in the wealthy countries, but all over the world. Um, and I think this is, a, this is obviously a dream and is a, the, the major challenges, particularly when you look at the poorer countries. Um, you know, and, uh, but this is what I'm aspiring for.